let's start from the, the title. Subura means uh, sub uh, the town. And this was uh, an ancient uh, suburb in, in, in Rome uh, that was really close to the richest area of the city. And this place was a, a small place and was down the hill where the rich people lived. And in this place, of course, was uh, a ghetto. So with a lot of poor people, with a lot of uh, place where you can have uh, a drink, so like a pub, and a lot of war. And was also the place where was possible to have fun, but also to meet secretly other people. So this was the place where different power at the ends met secretly. And the idea of Subura is exactly this, to make a, a contemporary thriller on, uh, on the power and how different power can rule a city. It was a very, very interesting challenge for me and a great trip into something that was so dark, but at the same time it didn't belong to any kind of cliché of, you know, the dark, iconic gangster type. And uh, plus something that is surrounding you every day. I mean, when you speech on the television, you know, you always have this kind of people looking at you and patronizing you and uh, telling you what the real thing is and what you should do in your life. And then uh, the dark sides of these kind of people in fiction, in our movies, in our movie, are this kind of life. So... Uh, the most interesting thing was for me was really to understand what was the motivation. What a man like this, which is not a main figure in the political uh, milieu, can be. What? What? Why does he do that? What, what does he want to achieve? How far can you go to achieve that kind of power? And once you get there, what's going to be next? I like the fact that Rome is always portrayed as like eternal city, beautiful city, monumental, a lot of beauty surrounding you, and then at the same time the fact that he, you know, all this rain that's, that's falling down, it's a mirror of Rome that changes his face, that, that in a way uh, makes it kind of uh, not only darker, but uh, not easy to define. So, as in a, in a, in a big storm, you don't really see where the edges of the, the the images are, and how things just melt together. Mm. And uh, this drowning city is interesting, uh, also cinematically, but also symbolically. A general movie, it's funny and cool to watch, and then gives you the, the chance also to tell about you and what surround you, so your society. But, but but without being too direct and it, a little bit boring, too. I mean, I think it's, uh, it's a good balance between the, the two elements that's, uh, that I love. I would like them to be entertained. Yeah. And, uh, and they could go out saying, oh, wow, that was a cool movie. I liked it. And uh, I, I like that I guy, want, the politician. And I want to go to Rome. <laughs> and I want summer. to go to Rome, yeah. And the politician, I have to say, is like, oh, but yeah. the guy, that's a lovely that, guy. That, that guy. That guy, oh, that's something, man.